All right, guys, let's finish up these video notes, shall we? Oh, it's getting tough. Just finished fifth period. All right, so here's some information on polynomials. When you're looking at a graph, the graphs of polynomials are smooth and continuous. There's no breaks, gaps, holes, or sharp turns. So just keep that in mind. Uh, don't, the domain is all real numbers. End behavior will be the same as the power function of the same degree. So remember, if it's, if it's even, it'll resemble a quadratic. And if it's odd, it'll resemble a cubic function. So, other thing, a polynomial of degree n has at most n roots. So if we have a fifth degree polynomial, we would have five roots, okay? So when we have a single root, okay, remember single means it crosses, okay? And the function changes sign. When it crosses, it changes sign. For example, as the function would be going up, it's negative. As soon as it crosses, it becomes positive. So the function changes sign. Okay, double root, the function does no, does not change sign. Okay. Let's think about it. Let's say it bounces here. So it's negative, 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 bounces, negative, negative, negative. So the function stays negative, does not change sign. It's negative, negative. Versus if it crosses, it's negative and becomes positive. Triple root, the function changes sign. And this is also called a point of inflection. A point of inflection. So let's say we have a triple root here. We're going up. Go through here. Notice it went from negative to positive. And I also thought of not, we called it a saddle point. But I remembered the other cute word. Uh, double was bounces. For triple, it wiggles like a worm. It wiggles just to help you kind of visualize. Here's your bounce. Okay. Here's your crossing. Here's your wiggle. Okay, let's keep going. Sketch the graph of each polynomial using the roots of the function. All right, so first root, zero, one, negative four. Okay, okay, degree, x times x is x squared, x squared times x is x cubed. So this is cubic. So remember, it looks like that. So it's down, up. Okay, so it's down. And then it's up. Okay, so remember that this one, it crosses. Okay, it's crossing. And it's crossing. Because they're all single roots, so it's crossing in each place. Okay. How high you go? Um, well, the farther apart the roots, probably the higher you go. The closer they are, the lower you don't go as far. So this is just a sketch. Okay. All right, 14. We need to do a little factoring here. So I'm going to factor out an x. Okay, because we can't 
graph it unless we know what the roots are. So now we're going to go ahead and factor this. <clears throat> Using the x factor you should come up with, with that. Okay, so we have a root at 0, and we have a root at 2, and 2. So we have a double root at 2. Okay, it's cubic, so it's going to resemble our cubic function. So it's going to be down on the left and up on the right. Okay, so remember, at 0 it crosses and here it bounces because it's a double root. So crosses, bounces. Single root, cross, double root, bounce. 15, we're going to need to do some factoring. So I'm going to factor out a negative x cubed. So we're going to have x plus 3. So here we have a triple root of 0. So we're going to have a saddle point here. It's going to wiggle across this point. And then we're going to have a single root at negative 3. Okay, so um, it's going to be a uh, 4 is the degree, so it's going to resemble quadratic because it's even, but there's also this reflection. So remember, quadratic is up, up, but since there's a reflection, it's going to be down, down. So it's going to be down and down. So at through negative 3 it crosses and then at 0 it's going to wiggle so remember when it wiggles it kind of flattens out like a saddle Sing, uh, single root cross triple root wiggle makes a saddle point Okay, number 16, factoring out an x squared. So we're going to have a double root at 0. And I guess we'll try to factor this even further. Remember, I'm using the, I'm doing this in my head, but I'm using the x factor. If you don't know how to do it, you do your x factor. Okay, so double root at 0, single root at 5, and a single root at negative 4. <coughs> All right, we have a fourth degree, so it's going to resemble quadratic. It's positive, so it's going to be up, up, end behavior, up, up. So up, up. All right, let's think about this now. So it's going to cross at negative 4, single root. It's going to bounce at 0, double root. And it's going to cross at 5. Is it this fun? I think so. If you have questions, ask me tomorrow. We're going to finish up the claw tomorrow and uh, move on from there. Hope you guys are having a good night.